Hey team and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about all of the small things that you can get done before 2020 hits to make sure that it is your easiest and most seamless year yet. If this is your first time here on my channel, then I just want to say hey, I'm Lara, nice to meet you. Uh, if you're also a fan of productivity and purposeful living, then consider subscribing. You can do that by clicking the bell and hitting that subscribe button and you'll be notified of when I upload videos. Transitioning into a new year can sometimes be tricky, but by ticking off a couple of these things on the list, you can make sure that it is less involved. By ticking off even just a few of these things, you can make your 2020 easier, more productive, and more intentional. Also, uh, I apologize in advance for my shininess. It is really hot in Australia. If you haven't seen anything on the news, it's currently on fire. We're in the middle of a bit of a heat wave, so I am sweaty. So, soz about it. Okay, back to it. First of all, make a vision board. Think about where you want to go in 2020. Think about where you want to go in 2021. You can make it for as far in advance as you like. I really like going for kind of like a five year plan and then paring it down to then what I can achieve in the next year. The most important part is what do you want your life to look like? The clearer you can see it, the easier it is to get there. Next, goal set and plan for your goals. So even if you use this as a follow on activity from your vision board, you can then pull out a couple of goals from that. If your vision board has more travel on it, then you can go, actually, so as a goal, I'm going to create a savings account. I'm going to look at destinations. I'm going to set up a subscription to this travel blog. Get a plan in place to help you achieve those goals. Set up your 2020 organization system. By this, I mean get a new calendar, get a new diary, get a new planner. Set up your online Google Calendar for 2020. Getting these little things organized just means that when you start 2020, it's all there. That you start the year fresh. Before 2020 hits, another really great thing to do is schedule in some me time for your holiday season. The holidays are always a really, really busy time and it's a time where we spend a lot of energy on others and tend to forget about giving some little energies back to ourselves. So schedule in even an hour somewhere to have some me time. Next thing to try and get done before 2020 arrives is cross that thing off your to-do list. Immediately when I say that sentence, I'm sure something sprung to mind. There's usually something that lingers on our to-do list that we haven't gotten around to doing. It's probably been on our to-do list for months. Clean out your car. Cleaning out our car is something that I think we don't do as often as we should. If you're someone who takes like immaculate care of your car, disregard this. But often there'll be things like looking in your glove box, looking in your side pockets, looking in your console and see what's in there. And give it a really thorough clean out. Even take it to somewhere and vacuum it out. Make it as fresh as you possibly can, ready for the new year. On that same note, do a refresh of your house. Just give your house a really deep, thorough clean before the new year. Starting the new year with no mess and no stress is a fantastic feeling. So do yourself a favor and ensure that you have that. I myself, when I'm cleaning my house, like to put in podcasts and listen while I wipe down benches. That way, I also get to learn while I'm doing mind-numbing tasks like the dishes or scrubbing a sink. Next is to return borrowed things. All things that people have left in your house. Guaranteed there's gonna be a pile of stuff somewhere that you're like, I need to return those books I loaned from my friend, those DVDs, whatever those things are, return those to the people that own them. Next is to unpack that box or hang that frame. This is a broad blanket statement that I put to doing that last bit of getting your house set up that you've been meaning to do for ages. For me, those things were unpacking one box and hanging up picture frames. That took me like a year to do. Next is to get your inbox to inbox zero. This will really change the way that you look at your email for the new year. Get rid of all of the things that you don't need, file them away, delete them, 
put them in an archive folder. All of these options are valuable. Get rid of spam or deal with the thing that that email is telling you about in the first place. The reason you've kept it in your inbox. Next is to declutter an area of your house. I don't want to go in and say declutter your whole home because that's an insane task to get done before the end of the year, which is a week away. Instead of doing a big mammoth clean, pick one category, one item, one room to declutter instead. I would recommend doing a easy one like bathroom, clothing, bookcases. While we're on the subject of decluttering, declutter your social media. This is a really good way to set off your new year on the right foot. Go through and delete accounts that don't bring you joy. Delete accounts that make you feel inadequate. Delete accounts where you compare yourself to the other person, but not in a healthy way, like, oh, that's awesome, that's where I want to get to, but more in a, I'm not there yet, I'm a failure kind of way. Get rid of those accounts, they aren't doing you any favors. By the same token on things like Facebook, delete toxic relationships. Delete people on there or unfollow people on there who post things that do not boost your life, that do not put you on the right direction. Next is to take that box of donations that you've been meaning to drop off at a charity shop or at the op shop for a really long time and drop it off. There are so many things in our house that we can donate to the less fortunate and Christmas and New Year's time is the best time to do it. Review your capsule wardrobe. No time like moving into the new year to think about how you want to present yourself to the world. To represent yourself on the outside the way you are on the inside or the way that you would like yourself to be for the new year. Have a look through, get rid of things that you don't need and build in things that you do. If you don't have a capsule wardrobe, consider building one. I'll link uh, the playlist to how to create a capsule wardrobe down below for you. Next is to automate your bills. This will save you so much hassle for 2020. A simple thing like this means that you don't worry so much about your budget line because you know that as soon as your pay goes in, those bills go out. It is always paid, it is always done. Not only does it alleviate stress, but it also makes you feel very calm and then you can focus your money on where you need it to be. You can create a financial dream and a financial plan for 2020 rather than simply going through and being like, I need to make sure this is paid, that is paid and that is paid and not having any brain space to think of future planning for your finances. While we're on the subject of future planning for your finances, go through and track your finances for the past three months. Have a look at where you're spending your money and where you can eliminate waste, where you can get rid of subscriptions that you don't need and where you're spending things and bad spending habits you would want to quit. And then create a budget for your 2020. Create a self-care plan. Self-care is super, super important. So make sure that you're building into your new year and the way that you're living your life a way to look after yourself. Next is to review the way that you think. This is something I think that we as a society do not do enough. We're not very often self-referential unless we're in kind of a way of like, I want to set these goals. Think about the way that your brain works and the way you want it to work. Identify negative thought patterns and see if you can get yourself out of them for 2020. Even just knowing they're there can help to formulate a system moving forward. If you need support in finding a way to make that happen, I do have a workbook that's completely free and I'll link that below for you. It will help you to identify what your common reoccurring negative thoughts are and give systems and tools to help you delete them from your life. Next is to think about those people and those relationships that you want more of in your 2020 and start making plans with them now to hang out. Contact them, send them a message and be like, hey, coffee date in early 2020, it'd be great to catch up and make sure that you are saying goodbye to 2019. And I don't actually mean this in a like a, write a letter to your 2019 self and be like, hey Lara, you were swell, peace out, I'll see you in 2020. Not that kind of thing, but more, get rid of your 2019 calendar, get rid of your 2019 planner, get rid of your 2019 desktop applications, get rid of all of your to-do list books from 2019, Delete and rid yourself of all of the bulky notebooks that you probably have spread throughout your house and paperwork that are 2019 related that you will not need for 2020. Crossing even a few of these things off your list will really help you to feel refreshed and rejuvenated and excited to start 2020. 
And that really is what I am about here on my channel. I'm about getting you excited about life and designing it a way that suits you. I have a popped a few more videos over here that I think you'll enjoy if you're starting your journey of designing your own life and living it your way that I think you'll really get a lot out of. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, paint a mural of my face, and as always, thank you so much for hanging out. Peace.